Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today I'm gonna to be planting some radish in my brand new raised bed. I just installed this one. So I've got four different kinds. The French breakfast, which I, be, I actually have in here, I have planted. I love these, they're really good. Di daikon, daigon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but these are amazing. They're real big, they get super long and I like them in stews, they're really sweet. Both of these are pretty mild. And then I've got some cherry bell, which is the normal radish that you're used to getting in the grocery store, and then some white egg turnip, which can get a little bigger. But the real star of the show is these daikon. They, they're huge. So those need a little extra spacing. It says uh, eight, uh, 12 to 18 inch row spacing. I'm going to just stick that right there. So you might see some water here on the top, and that's because soil, when it's dry, it's hydrophobic. So I just filled this up with soil, and then I sprayed it down. It's taken a little bit for it to soak in, but you'll see underneath this, it'll, it looks really wet, but I pull it aside to make the trenches, and it's completely dry underneath, so that's okay. Make a nice little trench. So there's one, and so, you know, I think that's going to leave enough room. It's not quite 12 inches, but... So radishes are quick growing. They're like one of the quickest growing, except for these daikon. They are a little slower. They take, it says 45 days. You can let them go a little bit longer and they get even bigger. So we've got two rows of that. Let's go ahead and plant those. And I've been wanting to get these for a while, but the place that I order seeds from have been out. So I just got them in had to order some and by the way i just got some garlic in as well so in a couple weeks it's not quite ready for garlic for us down here it's still really hot I want to wait about a week to two weeks before the first uh the first frost so here we go get those seeds out There we go. Make sure there's a semi-even spacing. Um, I'm a, being a little more careful right now than I have been with some of these other uh, radish seeds because I only have so many seeds and I don't want to overseed because I'm, I mean, I have to thin them out. They have to be about six to eight inch spacing. So I'm not, I'm gonna to try to keep them pretty well spaced out. I do wanna make sure I have enough and I will have to thin out a little bit. I wanna make sure I have good distribution and not all of them are gonna sprout. I mean, that's just how it is. It's, most will, 80 to 90% for most of it. And the same thing with any other trench style planting, you just cover it up. I pat it down to make sure that they stay in there. You want a little tension. You don't want any air pockets to where the seeds won't get moisture. So I usually put up my markers first to let me know what it is, um, but I'll do it now. But I usually, I write down what, what type it is and then what kind of spacing they need. So that way I don't have to go look later when I'm thinning it out, I know eight inch. I'm gonna space this to eight inch. And there we go, there's the daikon radish. Again, I am sure I'm saying that wrong. I eat them a lot, I just don't know how to pronounce it. All right, let's see. I would say we can do the French breakfast next. They're pretty small, grow fairly quick. So by the time they're growing, in fact, I might even be able to put it right in between because these will be ready to harvest before these even get to any kind of size, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. We'll go a little closer though. We don't need to go too far. We'll just do the same thing. We'll get a nice trench going. So you get quite a few seeds in there. Pack that down. Okay, so how this goes is we've got a brace here and a brace here, um, a little lower. Okay, so this one's on top. The only problem is that's gonna hinder the growth of a root. But if I get it over on this side, the next one is pretty deep, as you can see. And I'm gonna plant the cherry bell, which are pretty short, small little compact 
one. So it's amazing. I've already got ants in here and this has been in here for only maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> the, just put the dirt in literally now. So it's crazy how fast those ants come. All right, so there's the cherry bell. And I've got two cherry bell rows that I think I'm gonna do because they're pretty fast growing as well. Once I pull those up, I can plant something else. And I think next I'm actually, since those cherry bells are so small, I'm gonna do the white globes and allow them to get a little bigger on either side of smaller ones because they're gonna stay in the ground a little bit longer. So it'll allow me to use up less space, I think. At least that's the theory. That's what I plan on doing. And by the way, this mixture of dirt is peat moss mixed with just regular dirt that I had gotten. So I bought some dirt that has a mixture of compost and I think it's sand and clay. This is a big pile of it. I dumped it in there. Go ahead and watch the video. You'll see, I'll talk about what kind of, what I did with this, with amending it. And then I added some compost and you know, radishes really do like a lot of compost at least from what i'm reading they are very fast growers and so i think they probably utilize a lot of nutrients very quickly but you don't want to go too much with the nitrogen i hear because it can hinder their root growth and since most of what you're trying to get from them is roots you don't want that so okay so these are 45 to 65 days so even it says the daikon are 45 days so these could be even longer if you want them to get large but I have a feeling the same thing with the daikon. Um, daikon, di, daikon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I have a feeling that we could probably wait a little bit of time also with those. We'll see how my frost does and how soon I get a frost. Our average first frost date is in about 45 days. So I might have to harvest these early. We shall see. All right, so here we go. White egg radish. Put my marker up. We'll do one more row pretty close since they're pretty small. And I'll have room here for some other stuff. All right, put my marker. All right, and then the final thing is just make sure heavily and wet this down. And you might wanna come in, if it's brand new dirt like mine, come in a second time with the watering or third even, just to make sure that it really soaks down deep. Again, the, the ground is gonna be, like I said, hydrophobic. It's just not gonna hold that water very well. And there we go, that's all done. They should pop up in the next couple days. I know for a fact these um, French breakfast radishes right here take a very short time. They're, they're like three or four days and they're up. Uh, but it's a little bit more time with, I think, with the daikon and maybe even the the globes but i'm not i'm not sure i haven't grown either of those but from what i'm reading it's a little bit more time with those so there we can see right there 228 but it's october 16th so monday october 16th and i'll show you guys the date once they pop up you can see how long it takes look at here we've got this trench starting to pop up with seeds all the way along it's just kind of splitting it down the center pretty cool looking even the the larger radishes they're all seeming to pop up at the exact same time how cool is that well check it out guys it all came up every single one of the rows really nice looking too i like how it's all perfect rows here kind of pleasant to my ocd but every single one daikon radish Daikon, Daikon, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I still don't know, guys. If you could let me know in the description section, that would be great. So more of those. So those are the two Daikon. Got the French breakfast, the baby bell, the white globe, and the other baby bell. So they're all popped up. Now, I'm still probably going to get a couple more coming up in the next couple days, but the majority of the rows have now come forth. And as you guys can see, it is October 21st. But very cool. These are so quick to sprout and so quick to grow. In no time I'll be having a harvest from these. I mean, these are only two weeks and a couple days old and they're already forming bulbs. 
as you can see so I mean they're quick those are radishes as well well thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you guys on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind